You're right also, good morning. Um, there is some European um, Central Bank news today and uh, just to kind of simplify it, it's more to do with um, what the monetary policy will be for them going forward. Now, um, ING are, are, have really good analysis and um, they have uh, their, their, I guess, their scenario analysis. So uh, I like this sheet and what it basically does is just highlights and shows you what um, they think is likely to happen to price on the right hand side if these so if this certain criteria is met so um, ING's base case is that the European Central Bank will be neutral so the Central Bank European Central Bank have got a, you know they're going to comment on various different um, uh, aspects of their monetary policy and this is basically what ING think is going to happen on, on, on all four and if it does happen on all four then the likelihood again we're dealing probabilities here is that the euro will probably stay around the 120 mark because there's nothing really to suggest that it should go higher if they are hawkish meaning that on their inflation outlook they start talking that risks to the inflation outlook have somewhat become more balanced if that's the the um the the uh the language, I guess, uh, on the growth outlook, so the economic, uh, the economic recovery in in the second half uh, would be stronger than anticipated. If that's what the central bank are thinking, um, or they say, um, and vice, and all of these, then you should probably see a push up to one to two. If they do come out as dovish, meaning that on the inflation, they think that um, there's a return to low core inflation in 2022, growth outlook recovery will be will gain momentum over the summer, but high uncertainty, et cetera, et cetera, then you're looking at one, uh, one eight fifty. So, and we could see a very dovish, um, ECB. And, um, again my personal view is i have no idea what is going to come out obviously you know that the base case is what you want to go with you want to go with the ex experts so um it could be a non-event if anything out of the ordinary anything interpreted to be hawkish or dovish um by the market will either push the mark you know push prices of the euro up or down but um just my thinking and I, I'm, it's not a prediction or anything like that is just from a from a bigger picture perspective is that the Europe and and the ECB actually don't want an expensive currency yet if the currency gains um, in um, in value and appreciation in fact what it does is it, it hampers uh, the economy um, and inflation yeah and I have a video about that um, about this in the if you go to the uh, number four under fundamental analysis interest rates uh, and inflation this 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 webinar here that I posted um, uh, a few uh, maybe a month or so ago um, this this is uh, definitely a uh, worth a watch and it really explains the relationship between inflation interest rates and GDP and uh, the effect of an, an expensive currency on um, on, um, on on inflation and uh, and the economy so going back to um, you know uh, to this uh, the, the, the point is really is that is that I think I don't think that they'll be hawkish before they've even had a chance sorry they before they've even had a chance to even for their for their economy to even grow that is probably very unlikely even though obviously it can happen probably base case is to be more a bit more neutral to see what happens but um they, they there is a possibility that they could also be dovish simply because they want a weaker euro they actually do want a weaker euro the the the, the and the u.s actually want a weaker dollar the federal reserve want a weaker dollar um or actually matter of fact no they don't um in a sense that that they've already they're already achieving their inflation target so in fact they don't necessarily want a cheap um uh, dollar but they would want one if they hadn't reached their two percent uh, overall inflation target so the central bank of um the ecb actually want a, a weaker and a devalued currency so that they can reach their inflation target and actually in fact the uh, federal reserve um uh probably want a more expensive currency at the moment so that they can kind of stem inflation so that if, if the central banks can get their way then 
um, in fact that should lead to a euro dollar uh, downside if the market does agree at the moment the market seems to have uh, a different uh, opinion on the euro dollar I don't really um, um, I understand it but it goes kind of counter to what I know about the fundamentals it's a bit different at the moment so when in doubt you know, best not to necessarily even trade uh, the currency pair until it is a bit more clear as to what is going on. Sometimes we shouldn't really force trades um, and force our opinions on the market. Whatever the market thinks and whatever the sentiment is, if, it, if it's counter to what we know to be true, maybe it's just time to not trade that pair until, um, you know, uh, uh, something um, uh, the, uh, or the sentiment and the fundamentals do become clear so there's conflicting a lot of conflicting flows around the euro and around the dollar so um, for me it's not it's, it's probably becoming a pair that I'm going to not be too interested in because there is a lot of um, uh, conflicting and confusion in, um, confusing information but anyways guys uh, that's going to be the news for today so if you see prices start to shoot up or shoot down that's probably this is probably the reason why anyways guys take care and i'll speak to you soon